Captains. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the Tech Capital of North Carolina. I'm North Carolina. I'm Bobby Dave, CM founder of Coder Founder. We're on a special day because I had so many technical problems yesterday, Kevin. So like, I think we got it fixed. It's like the internet didn't <laughs> got a little bit of a, uh, Got a little bit of a voice problem too. So like, maybe maybe I should come back just, on Thursday. So we're, just, we... we're just testing <laughs> it really today. We thought we'd just jump on, yeah. make sure everything's working. Um, yeah. Give it a quick, give it a quick test after yesterday. Make sure we can yeah. actually stream. So yeah, it turns out um, that's, uh, hold on, let me see. John, it wasn't your fault, uh, fully redeemed. <laughs> Sorry I blamed you yesterday. It totally wasn't your fault. So yeah. <laughs> Mostly my fault, so you know. No, I, we, so it was a mix of, so our issue yesterday was we had a mix of um, hardware and software issues, like yeah. all at the same time. Like we're like, what's going on here? We fixed one thing and it's like, um, something else is going on is the, the graphics card yeah so on? like uh, like what happened yeah so like you could so like there's a couple of things going on and so like uh <clears throat> i learned um yesterday which i didn't learn it i just realized i had a bad cable um connecting this right. machine to the internet yeah so cat 5 to cat 5e to cat 6 are all different so yeah um i didn't realize that one cable was a five cable right what so what so happened is i think when we hooked up that machine cables exactly yeah. <laughs> we had like a lot of cables when we hooked up that machine we didn't originally have it hooked up via a cable right or somebody took the cable or something from the office so we hooked it up with another yeah. one not realizing it was realizing it was an old cable and it kind of yeah. worked um i've yeah. had this issue at home too though my my cable from <laughs> my modem to my router ended up being a bad cable and it like intermittently right. worked and it took yeah. me forever to figure out what was going on with it i literally had to have the cable yeah. company come out and they're like running all the tests the same tests i'm running and it's like they're not seeing the issue and the guy's like hmm like let's just try this he changes the cable and it works and i was like oh you gotta be kidding me like <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> so uh, you if know. you don't know a five cable will run at 100 megs down a 5e will run at one gig and a six um a cat six cable will run at 10 gigs so like um our network here is gig to the desktop and then we have a you know a one gig fiber connection so right but i was only getting 100 meg down with a high latency with that older cable and the electronics yep. would just, it would go intermittently and go out. Yep. To change it out. So it was that combined with a software was, issue too. Like, <laughs> yeah, so Chrome updated. And then I had like a uh, video card um, hasn't been updated in a while. And when Chrome updated, Chrome no longer ran. I got what's called the white screen of death on yep. Chrome, which yep. I use Chrome to connect to this thing. And so yep. anyway, so I reinstalled the PC yesterday reset it up <laughs> you literally spent a ton of time again. installing windows oh. again and then we still didn't yeah. work and it's like hold on a minute something's weird here <laughs> so then reinstalling all so. the drivers doing all that stuff and then and then it finally like the new drivers then it's like ah, oh, and it worked right so yeah exactly here we are testing it so here we, we are testing we it out so i think it's good now yeah so we thought we'd jump on and just do a quick test and hang with you guys a little bit i think yeah so if you got a question let me know and i'll ask a question we may not be here very long so <laughs> um just to test yep. it out see if it's gonna work here exactly exactly you watch um uh you watch any of the movies over the weekend all the, the disney stuff that came out i watched shang chi i watched yep. uh J jungle cruise <laughs> yeah um i watched uh what else did i watch there's a there's a boba fett thing on there too on disney plus which was really good yep. like a little mini documentary uh what else should i watch red notice on netflix over the weekend like talk red about notice, a bumper weekend a I give Red Nose about an A minus, B plus. It had some twists in it, but it wasn't that. Yeah, I agree. The twist was like, good. I was just, yeah, not to spoil it, but the twist was like, I was yeah. like, where? I was like, which one of these oh, two man. twists is it gonna be? Because I'm like, I know yeah. it's one of these two things. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guessed it. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, but I mean, yeah. it, it's on Look. Netflix. You're already paying for the service. It's it's pretty fun. It's fun to watch. I mean, it's like, decent. you know, it just wasn't like, um, you know. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah. Good it's not going to go down thing. in history as like one of the greatest movies ever. Um, I thought Jungle <laughs> I think, um, Jungle Cruise, whatever. Is it Jungle Cruise? Is that what it's called? Yeah. That, that was good. So if you're in a video game adaptions, Arcane, I know it's animated, but Arcane is, is excellent. League of Legends. It? Oh, Arcane, yeah. League of Legends. That's okay. so good. I mean, like, it's really good. That's on Netflix, too? Yeah. 
I think I saw. I think that. I think it suggested that to me. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it did. It suggested that to me. I haven't watched it yet, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm. It's not like I'm not. In, I don't know League of Legends stuff. I don't know the anything about it. So, like, I'm. You don't really have to. It, so, like, I didn't know much about it either. But um, I, I knew it's a game. I knew a couple of the characters because I don't play League. But like, um, it was it was a good show though. It's definitely entertaining. The animation's definitely on par with say Into the Spider Verse that Sony did with Spider Man. Oh, is it it's that really same? Good. It looks like that same kind of animation. That, uh, it's a little different, but yeah, it's got okay. like the inking in it and stuff like that. It's really yeah, good. it's like that three D with like that yeah, yeah painted overlay, isn't it? It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. I keep seeing articles about Chrome having lots of security issues. This has always been a thing with with browsers in general. Um, yeah, just keep it updated. I think we're on yeah. Chrome ninety six or something. I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. I think they're pretty good about pushing out those uh, those yeah. fixes. Um, you know, there's always going to be zero day stuff with browsers always because it's a big like yeah. vector of attack. But you know, as soon as they figure out what's going wrong with it, they always fix it. They're pretty good about fixes. If you keep your browser up to date, if you and notice then, it updates. You know, are they tracking your data one hundred percent? So like, you know, if, you're, if you're worried about <laughs> right. that, Opera Brave. Uh, I think there's something called Dead Duck Goes, another one. Dead Duck Goes, the search engine uh, thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think Opera Brave is the other ones that you yeah. can use. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For us, vMix, the software platform we're using, um, you have to use Chrome. Yeah. So it's, it's the it's only one they officially Chrome. support. We tried using it. Yeah. So we, when we couldn't get Chrome to work initially yesterday, you, you tried uh, Edge, and yeah, it's like, nah, it's not. That's Even though it's Chromium-based, it still didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the uh, the camera sharing stuff in it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least so. <clears throat> when you're trying to put on a show and trying to solve it in like two minutes live, it, I <laughs> yeah, find it wasn't going to work. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yadley says you got to rest. I know, man. My voice is going <laughs> away. Today. I don't know what it is. I feel great. I just, uh, my voice, I don't know what it is. I woke up this morning and it's like, yeah, it's gone. It's going away. I think it's the uh, North Carolina weather. Like yesterday, it's forty-one. Today, it feels like it's eighty outside. Well, it's so, gonna yeah. be my yeah. I saw the thing earlier. My 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 phone says it was gonna be seventy-nine. I think it was. It was and I was yeah, like, hold on, is that right? <laughs> like, is, is that what it's gonna be today? I was like, that's that's yeah. that can't be right. It's, it's right. Just wrong. It's it's warm. And, uh, yeah, yeah. But um, it's gonna get cold again for us. So yeah. Um. Eventually. <laughs> um, <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of funny. It is that running joke that everybody uses Edge because you have to use it to download Chrome. Yeah. Like it's like yeah, exactly. It might as well be called Edge, the browser, the the the, the Chrome downloader browser. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of that's kind of its you know that's its one use. Because when you install Windows, you don't yeah you have to use it right to download Chrome. Right. Like so you have to go you have to use it for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, Alex, it's Tuesday. What are you talking about? Yeah. I think you I think you've, you've missed a day or you had a day or something. Yeah, we had some problems yesterday, Alex. So today we're back. And now my we're voice is going out. So, like, I'm just going to give the week up and just come back next week, man. So, uh, maybe you right when I got on, my voice started going away. You may come back tomorrow and be like, yeah, I can't actually. So, um, <laughs> Let's, we'll, we'll do a couple of questions, then we will we will cut off. But um, yeah. how about online presence as a web developer? I think the first thing you got to have is a portfolio. That's your number one piece. The second thing that you got to have as well is a LinkedIn account so that you can like put your stuff out there. And then inside your portfolio, you need uh, projects. The, the extra credit or the meta strat, I think, is also blogging and writing about dev articles. So you could build your own blog software. You could use Medium. You could use DevTO, Hashnode, whatever you want to do to write your articles and then push them out to Twitter, push them out to LinkedIn, and then link them back into your portfolio as well. So that's how I would do it. That's how we teach the Cutter Finder students to do it. Also, register your own domain too. Definitely yeah. uh, definitely look at your own yeah. domain. Um, and if you can, host the email on it too. It's always pro when you get like yeah. a, you know, John from johnsmith.com, whatever it is. It like it yeah. just it looks good. It looks like you know, yeah. you're in the space, you're in like this tech space, you should at least know how to set up a domain and set up your email. You know, right. that's you know, that's just an extra little extra little thing that'll make you look even more pro. So. Yeah. Uh let's see what's John saying here. Um we get a small business to use that bug tracker or blog, you think that hits harder than having just the project? A lot of people 
all the time say, why would you build a bug tracker when there's a thousand of them built? Yeah. Um, and and so like, a lot of a lot of advice out there is you got to build something unique and you got to build something that could be sold that has to have a million customers for you to get a dev job. And I don't think that's true. Does it hit harder? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think it really moves the needle at all for you, um, but it could. But think of it this way, John, if you're applying for a dev job and you're showing them, hey, I've got a, I've got 400 clients on my bug tracker and you're trying to come in there as a, a full-time dev, they're going to wonder like, is he going to work on that or is he going to work for me? And so like it, it can hit the wrong way, um, believe it or not. So right. they're not going to be impressed if you have a hundred people on it. They're going to be impressed that you built it. So that's the number one thing you want to show. So, but could you take our bug tracker project and start selling it as commercial software? I think you could. I mean, it's really close um, to what you need to do. And I think that uh, you definitely, and it comes multi-tenant if you go to learn.codefinder, it's built out from the get-go to run multiple companies on it. So it's kind of cool. So you definitely could build it out as a yep. service and start selling that. Definitely. Um, yeah. All right. Man, now John, they you. There you go, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that. it is. I think it's allergies. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we have weird allergies around here, don't we? It's like I, I yeah. get them too. It's nuts. It's strange times of the year. Yeah, Chad. Edge is just Chromium. Yeah, just a bad version of Chrome. That's all. Yeah. It is built. The, the latest latest version is based on Chromium. They seem to have the market cornered on that. Um, on the browser game, but you know. Uh, let's see. The back wants to know: Do you answer taking questions? Depends. Um, <laughs> if if yeah. if we can answer it off the top of our head. Yeah, if, if, can, if we can, you know. sure. If it, it requires some research, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Um, it just depends on what the question is. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jagvinder Singh, if I pronounced that correctly, wants to know how to get your first freelance project. Five is too crowded and getting noticed is hard. So it depends on where you live. Um, I'm going to look at it like in a town like here in Kernersville. So the tech capital of the world. Um, I would find um all the small business owners that need a website and that's how i would get it i would just call them all email them all or talk to them you definitely can apply for things on fiverr top tool there's odesk there's a lot of these other sites out there and it is hard to get noticed out there um, but i would i would call them directly and email them directly and that's how these um agencies are doing it they're they're running an email campaign a calling campaign it just sells. I mean, that's the thing that people yeah. don't understand. Being a freelancer is all about sales and and then you got to build it. And that's why usually the good freelancers end up just hiring people because they end up becoming good at the sales part of it. Right. And if they got in it to build things, <laughs> then you end up just selling things. You so. find out the building part's the easiest part. It, it is it the is. sales part and the marketing and the accounting yeah. and all the other stuff you got to do that are the hard right. parts that generally yeah. put people don't want to do you want to do the building for yep um still a couple more here mr me having an issue while working on the movie pro app i went to the package manager console to issue the add migration command and i'm getting an error oh just add that into the uh just we, yeah go put it in um in. discord i don't know what this, off the yeah. top of my head it's something with your particular uh setup it's not something with the the tutorial itself yeah. is something that you, you're doing incorrectly that's <laughs> somewhere around it so it might need a little bit more information you put it in discord yeah. or put it in the notes at the bottom of the thing and somebody will i get drew to take a look at it yep um oh we talked about this well we're gonna do this one yesterday actually um to see if planning an e-commerce project hmm I guess. I mean, yeah. So maybe there is, if you want to be a, uh, a DBA, I mean, we're just not covering that kind of stuff right now. Yeah. So, it's not, it's not in the pipeline though. So. Yeah. I mean, we can, you definitely can roll, roll things back. Like if you're doing transaction management and backup. So we're just not doing the DBA part of it yet. Yep. Um, oh, I guess, I guess, this, I guess this was the technical question. How to force two-factor authentication and identity. It's built in. Um, so we would have to like, uh, that's a different problem. Maybe I'll put a, um, 
We have to put something together for that to explain. Is that a common thing? What do I mean by forcing it? Is it not just? <clears throat> so he wants to make just... sure that everyone. I, I don't know if it can be forced. I know you can opt into it. So I'd have to go look to see if you can actually right. make someone okay. supply two credentials for it. Okay. So if you don't know, if you're watching 2FA, he's, he's talking about two-factor authentication. Yep. So I don't know if you can. I would Google that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, now, right. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I would literally Google that, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see this one, then we'll roll. Um, doing a web uh, web design course, it's must say it's a JavaScript. What do you guys recommend <laughs> I should learn when I finish the course? Um, I would learn to become full stack and then uh, learn C sharp or something like that on the back end. So a server side language would help you out, databases, things like that. Yeah, so you need to look at, I mean, there's some other front end, like you need to look at Git too. Don't don't underestimate that yep. straight out of the gate. It's Just if you're building too, those yeah. things too, don't don't underestimate Git. Like put that in your workflow, like straight away. Even if you're just learning HTML stuff, pick up Git stuff too, because you're going to use it. <laughs> so you might as well. And then like Robert said on the back end, pick up a back end language. You're going to have to know SQL right. and C sharp or whatever back end language you want to pick up. Uh, cool. Right, cool. Yeah, you're losing your voice, so let's. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have, we're sign off. It worked, so we're back. It worked. Yeah, we had no. It didn't. It didn't cut out. So that's that's a bonus. Yeah. And I didn't see any um, traffic issues on my end that that yeah. I normally would. So you would normally dip down to like an orange on my side as the traffic goes, right. and you didn't. You've been green the whole time. So right. We, perfect. So I think cool. it's a lot better now. So. Um, hopefully we're back tomorrow. You keep your voice. We'll, we'll be back, back tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Love my voice. Um, if not, we'll get you one of those AI things. We'll have you talk through uh, a robot for tomorrow. Maybe right. We'll that. You got to type everything in, and it'll just be get one of those Boba robotic Fett voices. Voice. That's what I need. A what? A Boba Fett voice. A Boba Fett voice. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We'll be we'll be cool. Well, well thanks All for right. hanging out and checking it out thanks, with us. Man. Make sure that we're uh, working today. We appreciate it, guys. All, All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Keep coding. We'll see you.